Hi everyone and welcome back. My name is Kit. Thank you guys for joining me today. It is Sunday, December 13th, 2020. How is everybody doing tonight? I hope you guys are all doing well. And today I have a Yarnspiration one pound mystery bag unboxing to share with you guys. So I placed an order on Yarnspirations about a few weeks ago, I think like two weeks ago, and my order finally came in, and I ordered 10 of their one pound mystery bags. And the reason why I ordered 10 was because it was already on sale. I think the price was $4.79 per one pound mystery bag, and if I order 10 or more, I get an additional 10% off. So I believe that these one pound mystery bags were around four dollars and fifty cents each i could be wrong it could be more or less i lost my packing slip so i can't tell you the exact cost but i did spend less than forty dollars i think it was thirty five dollars and change or was it thirty eight dollars and change but either way it was a great deal and i just decided to order ten of them and i didn't spend that much money so let's get started and I will show you the yarns that I received in my mystery box. So I already opened up some of the yarn and I already opened up the box just to make sure that I had everything in there. But let's start off with the first one. So I received this one pound bag of acrylic yarn and I don't know what it is. I am assuming that it is either, I'm assuming it's Red Heart with Love. But I could be wrong, so if you guys know what that is, please leave it down in the comments below. It is like a, maybe a sage green color or spring green color. I don't know how to describe that. But it is a nice green color, and it, I'm pretty sure it's 100% acrylic. It's not super soft, but it's soft enough to make a blanket or something wearable out of it. And in this bag, I received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven skeins. Some of them are bigger than others, but there are seven skeins of this mystery green yarn in here. And I definitely like that one. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's 100% acrylic. I just don't know what brand it is. And I'm thinking it's Red Heart with Love. But again, I could be wrong. So that is my first bag. So let's stick with the acrylics because I did get some wool yarn in here. The second bag of acrylic I received is in this orange pumpkin color, and I'm pretty sure this is Red Heart with Love. And I think I have bought a couple skeins of this before, and um, I made crocheted pumpkins with them. So this is definitely Red Heart with Love, I'm thinking, but if I am wrong, you guys can correct me down below. And I received, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these skeins. There are two that could be full skeins, like this one could possibly be a full skein, almost, and then there's one at the bottom that could be a full skein, but there are a total of seven of these. And then the next one I received is in this brown color, or chocolate color yarn, and I am not sure what this one is. I was thinking that it could be Red Heart with Love, but I have never seen Red Heart with Love in this chocolate brown color before, so I'm not sure what this one is. Um, if you guys know, leave it down below in the comments. And let's see, I received one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these in the bag. And the one all the way at the bottom looks like it might be a full skein. So that one is the dark chocolate brown color. Very nice yarn. Um, they feel the same the orange the green and the brown yarn actually feel the same so that's why i'm assuming they're red heart with love but if i'm wrong you guys can correct me so i have one more that i believe is red heart with love which is this burgundy color yarn here and there are let's see one two three four five six seven of these in the bag as well so like i said i think this is red heart with love what do you guys think it's pretty yarn I think the colors would go very well together to make like a fall blanket because I have the burgundy and the brown and the green and the orange I think these four would make a pretty fall blanket what do you guys think about that okay so let me set that down 
And then the next one I have, I'm going to show you these two together because I think they're the same yarn, just different colors. So I have one in this mustard color and then one in this cream color. And again, I think they're the same yarn. I just don't know what they are and I'm pretty sure they're the same size. So for the acrylic yarns that I showed you, I'm pretty sure those are uh, medium worsted weight yarns and I'm thinking this one might be a bulky five or a super bulky. I don't know. I'm thinking more of a bulky five. And these two go together very well. Um, this would make a nice cowl or a scarf or even a hat and a cowl set. Um, it's not that soft, but it's soft enough for that. And I definitely like these. And I thought this might be Bernat. What is it? Bernat Softy Chunky Yarn. What do you guys think that is? That's what I think that is. But if I'm wrong, correct me down below. And the cream colored one has four skeins in the bag. And then the mustard colored one has five. So there's definitely enough in there to make a project, a bigger project. And then I have a few more. And then the next mystery bag I got is this one here, which is a baby yarn. And then I'm going to show you the other one because I think they might be the same yarn. This one is a solid pink and this one is a self-striping one. So let me show you them together up close. So that's what it looks like. It has a shine to it. So I'm not sure what it is. It reminds me a lot of Karen Simply Soft, but I know it's not Karen Simply Soft. I'm thinking it might be a Burnett baby yarn of some kind. So if you guys know what that is, leave it down in the comments below. This would actually go very well together and make a nice baby blanket for a girl. What do you guys think? So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these just yet, but they're here if I ever need to make baby blankets. So that is that. And I again, I think it's Burnett baby yarn. So I have two more. The next one I have is also another baby yarn, and I think this is Burnett as well, but I'm just not sure what it's called. But it is the bigger skein, so it came in two, two and a peck, which equals the one pound. And I like this one a lot. I think this one is like a sport weight yarn. It's pretty thin, and I like all the pastel colors in this one, so I will make a baby blanket in the future with that. I don't have any babies to make them for, but I will definitely make baby blankets. And then I have one more, which I know for sure what it is. And this is, I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what that is. This is Patton's or Peyton's Croy Sock Yarn. And this is the one that has wool in it. I'm pretty sure it has wool in it. Um, this is the only bag that has wool in it. I think everything else is 100% acrylic, but this is definitely worth the $4.50 I paid for the bag. And there are a total of, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten of these skeins in the bag. And then a couple of them could be full skeins. Like this one looks like it might be a full skein. And then I have one here that might be a full skein. So that is definitely worth it. So what do you guys think some of these yarns are? This one is definitely easy to recognize. The other ones, I am not sure, so sure about. So if you guys know what they are, please leave it down in the comments below. And if not, I will have to research some and see what they are. But that's what I got in my Yarnspiration mystery bag or mystery box. And again, I bought 10 of them. They were on sale. I'm not sure if Yarnspiration still has that sale going on right now, but it wouldn't hurt to check if you guys are interested. I will link the website down below so you can get to it. Um, but that's all I have for you guys right now. I just wanted to share that mystery bag unboxing with you. Um, I've never ordered mystery bags from Yarnspiration before and it was a great experience. I got every bag was different so I was happy with that and then it was just a really good price for the bag so I'm excited. I have to set that aside because I have so many projects going on right now. It might be a while before I even um, get to that yarn but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Have a great week next week and I will catch you all later. 
Thanks for watching. Bye.